We added new capability to search for electronics components inside SolidWorks Feature Tree after we bring the PCB assembly inside the design. The mechanical engineer doesn't need to know where they're located because if it's just a few parts, you can easily find it. But when there are hundreds or thousands of components, it's very hard to locate them. So inside Feature Tree, we're going to deactivate List of Custom Properties. Then in Filters, we're going to type the reference designator of the component we're looking for, and just this component will be highlighted. Type in a different reference designator, and it's going to highlight just that other component. The mechanical engineer doesn't need to learn how to use SolidWorks PCB to find quickly and easily any critical electronic components in SolidWorks assembly. Another new ability we've added is the support for hole patterns. SolidWorks PCB is not a mechanical system, so it's not as easy to create them. So we can transfer this simple PCB board to SolidWorks via collaboration. From SolidWorks PCB add-in, we select this empty board. Now we can add a different style of hole patterns. We've added circular and linear pattern holes in the PCB model. Because they're now supported through our collaboration, we can just as easily transfer the board, including the hole patterns, back to SOLIDWORKS PCB. This ability removes the necessity to recreate the holes manually, which can be time-consuming and error-prone. Again, another big time saver to leverage the power of SOLIDWORKS. Next, we will talk about the new capability to bring in copper through the collaboration into SOLIDWORKS. We can do that in two ways, with or without the copper. The first example will not include it, where you can only see the top and bottom copper of this assembly. But what about the inner layers to be included to have an accurate representation of the electronics assembly? So we're going to activate the copper that will bring additional circuitry to be part of the assembly inside SOLIDWORKS. It will be added to the feature tree for copper layers, and now we can select the board itself and change its transparency and see every copper layer. When we zoom in inside SOLIDWORKS, we see exactly the same layout with all of the copper traces on all the layers inside SOLIDWORKS. The great new supported feature is the ability to create and transfer barriers using envelopes as complex shapes inside SOLIDWORKS. The envelope can act as restrictions for copper traces or part placement. Once we add the part representing the barrier and change its parameters to be an envelope, Collaboration will allow us to bring this information back to SOLIDWORKS PCB as an exact shape and location, just as Mechanical Engineer did. Inside SOLIDWORKS PCB Collaboration, we can preview the envelope and accept its addition, so we can see where we need to notch or where to add the cutout in the board. Before this ability, it was very hard to communicate this type of restrictions from mechanical to electronics groups, and we made it easy and accurate. Another big time saving is newly added ability to take any electronic component in SOLIDWORKS, flipping to a different side of the board, or fix its location. Selecting one of the connectors, you can flip it. Additionally, we can change the state by selecting another component and fix it in its place, and this will prevent you from accidentally moving it when we transfer back to SOLIDWORKS PCB. Again, time savings and elimination of any confusion in communication of what is flipped or fixed or locked. Ability to accurately communicate the board thickness between electronics and mechanical groups is essential. We will start in SOLIDWORKS PCB, and the cross-section of this board in Layer Stack Manager is set to 16.2 mils. Once we open this design in SOLIDWORKS and measure the board thickness, it is exactly as it was defined in PCB. But what happens if we change the board thickness inside SOLIDWORKS PCB by increasing the dielectric material inside the cross-section? The thickness of the board is increased to 61.6 mils. So once we push this change from SOLIDWORKS PCB through the collaboration, you'll see that the thickness of the board will adjust and we will accept it. Measuring in SOLIDWORKS shows that the thickness of the board is increased to an exact and accurate value of 61.6 mils. All of the above new capabilities allow both mechanical and electronics groups to communicate different aspects of the design accurately and effectively without duplicating efforts to recreate the same information.